quickly. I'm just going to share a quick difference between the two and I will go into uh, a little more detail the whole but between both the original and the uh, revised edition. I will that'll be a separate video but one thing you notice okay one of them's a lot bigger <laughs> all right um and so these are the ones that we use even though we have these i'm not saying that these are bad these are the ones i share because most often people have these and even with these they still are not sure exactly how to use them other than a reader and yeah but there are so many more ways to use these so let me open this up and show you this lesson right over here all right hold, hold on hold my page down just really quickly i am on page 26 in here here's my lesson all right so you see these words these are the words that they give you new words new sounds here's the lesson okay this is the end of the lesson okay the difference okay same lesson there we go I am on page 15 so I went from 26 to 15 this lesson is about the moon okay right away you can tell completely different text but also more wording it's a lot more in detail okay and the lesson continues here so that is a lot longer lesson a lot more in detail here are the questions that follow there are questions within these passages little quick questions there's one in the other passage up here questions and here are the words so we go from this in the same level in the revised edition to this in the original so those of you that do use the original you know what i'm speaking about if you have both versions um, nine times out of ten you you have both and you know and you use these um we use these that's why these are a lot more worn than the other ones um this version is more expensive it can run you upward a couple of three hundred dollars um it is more expensive you have to um you know look for them to get a complete set that is uh pretty much in fair enough condition to use and then be willing to use it but yeah we go from nine to gently renders appears okay completely different it's a lot longer and I'm not saying um, you really can't put an age on these, but this is a second reader. Uh, Mr. McGuffey has said um, once they are to the third level and beyond, they are reading just as well as a college student. They are comprehending just as well as a college student, this college material. The way these this series is written perfect syntax perfect prose uh, everything just perfect perfect speech so that is about why we use them um, it just the grammar everything is here everything in here it you know the prose it lends itself to um, have them really think about what he's saying um what else can i say we did not we go yes lesson by lesson so this book actually covers a couple of years this is not a they're not graded uh per se by level i'll get into that again and i did it in the original video if i remember i will link it when i did the revision um walkthrough this is a very probably one of my most popular videos 
the one I still get the most questions about. So that's why I'm coming back in. But um, they're not graded. But this is worth two to three years. Even here, this may seem not as complicated, but for a little one, it still can be. Um, for the way that they should be used, the way he intended, it still can be co quite complicated. And um, I wouldn't push it. Start with the primer. Start with the primer. Um, I guess the only other thing I can I can say is, um, even though it may seem, and I haven't opened it, but even though it, you know, it may seem slow. Oftentimes, I see children or parents saying the child is reading and they are actually calling words they're not reading it's robot reading once there was a little kitty if you are doing that and pointing those words out as they're reading they're calling words there's a difference and that um, hinders their comprehension it hinders their fluency and fluency is what you want to build and that these are good for that but um, that's not reading okay it's not it's a fact it's not my fact but it's true that's not reading they're calling words a child should be able in this level once there was a kitty they should be able to read two to three words consecutively without stopping okay there's the pause at the comma you're teaching them commas. So they should be able to read that line without that pause. If they're not fluently reading that well, they shouldn't be in this level or reading other material of this level. That's why I say it is it is a lot more. Okay, even though this level is slower than this one, you know, this one obviously is a lot more to it. And there's a lot more meaning here. So I definitely would not... Um, if you have not used these, start at the beginning. I definitely would not start at number two if your child is reading on, you know, XYZ level. Don't second guess it and say, well, they can do it. Um, because it gets harder and harder. Just in this book, from this lesson to this lesson, there was a big jump. It was a big jump. So, and then the next lessons, it, it, there's a bigger jump. Okay? So, um, you go really slow, really slow, Just, uh, you know, meet them where they are and, um, take it easy, but you know, this is what we're doing and this is what works and this is what will work up until they graduate. Um, it's what I used before and from what I know, if it's not broke, were broken don't fix it if I got them through high school on to college and beyond with this then I need to keep using this and not try to buy some other fancy material